Here's a Triceratops rib that we're excavating. And here's another one way back here. But where are all the rest of the bones? And why aren't these still put together? This is a deer who, by the looks of him, died quite a while ago and he's been sitting out in the South Dakota Badlands ever since. After an animal dies, scavengers will come along and they'll pick at the body and they'll either eat it on sight or drag pieces of it away. Soft tissue that holds the bones together decays and the skeletons eventually break apart. When a big mass of water comes through, like from a storm or a river, many of the bones can get washed away. When the animal gets buried and fossilizes, only an incomplete skeleton is preserved. Imagine this scenario only with a multi-ton triceratops 66 million years ago in the late Cretaceous. That's exactly what happened just over the hill. When we're on a dig site, we study the taphonomy, the burial conditions of a fossil. We look at the type of rock it's buried in and any other fossils that are buried with it. Taphonomy gives us clues to how the animal lived, how it died, what other animals lived with it, and what the environment was like. That's science, and that's cool. Make sure to stop by the Dinosaur Resource Center in Woodland Park, Colorado, and subscribe to the channel and share the video. Yeah.